Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you some examples about continuity of a function. And our focus is especially on removable discontinuities. We are given this function f of x equals x to the 2 minus 3x over x minus 3. And we are asked to show that this function has a removable discontinuity at 3. So we want to prove that this function f has a removable discontinuity at x equals 3. Before I show you the solution of this question, let me remind you the three-step definition of continuity of a function at a point. In general, a function f is continuous at a number like a if, first of all, a is in the domain of f, f of a is defined. So this is the first condition for continuity of a function at a point. F is continuous at number A if F of A is defined. Which means that actually A is in the domain of the function F. The second condition is limit of F of X when X approaches A exists. This is the second condition for continuity. And finally, the function is continuous at A if the limit of f of x when x approaches A is equal to f of A. These are the three conditions for continuity of a function at a point. Now let's back to our question. We want to prove that this function f has a removable discontinuity at 3. Let me remind you the meaning of removable discontinuity. When a function has a removable discontinuity, a function has a removable discontinuity if the limit of the function, if the second condition actually, if the limit of the function when x approaches a exists, then the function has a removable discontinuity. So, the condition for removable discontinuity is that the limit of the function should exist, but possibly f maybe f of a is not defined, or maybe the limit exists but is not equal to f of a. So, removable discontinuity happens when limit exists. But maybe f of a is not defined, and so the function is not continuous. Or maybe limit exists, but is not equal to f of a. These are different values. So, let's see how we can solve this question. What was the question again? We want to show that this function f of x equals x to the 2 minus 3x over x minus 3 has a removable discontinuity at x equals 3. Let's check the conditions for continuity of this function at 3. The first thing that we have to check is to check f of 3 is defined or not. If we want to plug in 3 in this function, simply you can see that the numerator would be 3 to the 2 minus 3 times 3 and the denominator is 3 minus 3. The denominator is 0. This means what? This means that this fraction is not defined. So f of 3 is not defined. Is not defined. So the first condition for continuity of this function is not satisfied. So this function is not continuous because 
The first condition for continuity is that f of a, which in this case a is 3, should exist. But we checked and we see that this function at 3 is not defined because the 3 is not in the domain of the function. When we substituted 3 for x, the denominator is 0 and this means that the function is not defined. But to show that the function has a removable discontinuity, the limit of the function at 3 should exist. So, we want to find limit of the function when x approaches 3. The function is x to the 2 minus 3x over x minus 3. We cannot find this limit by direct substitution because if we want to plug in 3, we are going to get this and the denominator is 0, so we cannot find the limit by direct substitution. For finding this limit, you have to factor x from numerator. If you factor x from numerator, we have this. Now, if we cancel x minus 3 from the top with x minus 3 from the bottom, we have limit of x as x approaches 3. And if you plug in 3 for x, the limit is 3. As you can see here, the limit of this function when x approaches 3 exists. But f of 3 is not defined. So the reason that this function is not continuous is that the function is not defined. But the limit exists. And when the limit exists, but the function is not defined at that point, we say, we name this type of discontinuity a removable discontinuity. So this function has a removable discontinuity at 3. So from the above calculation, we conclude that f of x has a removable discontinuity. So again, how removable discontinuity happens? When the limit exists like this, but maybe f of 3 is not defined, or even if it is defined, it is something different than the limit that we got here. So this function has a removable discontinuity. But this question has a part B. What is the second part of this question? In the second part of this question, we are asked to redefine, redefine f of 3 such that f is continuous at 3. So, back to the question. We checked the continuity of this function at 3 and we saw that it is not continuous. Now, we want to define, redefine, attention, we want to redefine f of 3. Attention, f of 3 is not defined. That's true. But, we want to redefine f of 3 in a way that makes the function continuous. So, what is the suitable value for f of 3 that makes the function continuous? Attention to the third condition of continuity. In the third condition of continuity, we can see that if limit is something, if limit exists and it is something, f of a should be equal to that. Then the function is continuous. Here in this particular example, limit of the function is 3. So, what is the value that we have to define f of 3 to make the function continuous? We have to define it equal to the limit. What was the limit again? Limit is 3. So the value 
that we can choose for f of 3 is 3 because the limit is 3 and because we want the third condition of continuity be satisfied we are going to define f of 3 as 3 so this is the answer of the second part of the question if we choose f of 3 equals 3 then the function f is continuous actually by redefining f of 3 equals 3 we have this piecewise function let me write it here f of x originally was this x to the 2 minus 3x over x minus 3 x to the 2 minus 3x over x minus 3 but as we see here f of 3 cannot be found from this equation so we can use that equation for any value other than 3 when x is not equal to 3 we can use this equation when x equals 3 we redefined f and we set f equals to 3 now this piecewise function here is a continuous function at 3 let me show you another example like this we are given the function f of x equals x to the 2 sine of pi over x and we want to prove that this function is has a removable discontinuity at 0 so we want to prove that this function has a removable discontinuity at 0 this is the first part of the question similar to the previous question we start from f of 0 as you can see here if you want to plug in 0 here you are going to get pi over 0 and because the denominator is 0 you cannot find any value for f of 0 f of 0 is undefined for this function the 0 is not in the domain of this function and so f of 0 is undefined but let's see what is the limit of this function when x approaches 0 so we want to find limit of this function when x approaches 0 what was the question again we want to show that this function has a removable discontinuity this means that this limit should exist because when a function has a removable discontinuity the limit exists but what is this limit by direct substitution you cannot find this limit because if you want to plug in zero in this function here we get pi over zero and it's undefined so direct substitution doesn't work for finding this limit so what is the technique that we need to use for finding this limit for finding this limit you have to use the squeeze theorem or sandwich theorem and if you don't know how to use the squeeze or sandwich theorem for finding limits watch my videos about this topic i'm not going to tell all the story of a squeeze or sandwich theorem here but i'm going briefly over, over how we can find this particular limit if you remember from a squeeze or sandwich theorem always we start from the trick part of the limit trick part of the expression of in front of the limit actually so we are going to start from sine of pi over x and probably you know that any sine or cosine function are always between negative 1 and 1. So, always we start from the trick part of the expression. Sine of pi over x is between negative 1 and 1. And it doesn't matter what is the expression here. Now, we have to make this expression here similar to this. To make it similar to this, we have to multiply both sides of the equation by x to the 2. If we do so, 
Then we have negative x2, x2 sine of pi over x, and in the other side also x2. Now, the expression in front of our limit is between these two simpler functions. What is limit of this left side? What is limit of negative x2 when x approaches 0? If you directly substitute 0 for x, this is 0. What is limit of the right side of right side expression, this expression? It is also 0. Note that this function is trapped between this function and this function. Limit of the left function is 0. Limit of the right function is also 0. And so the limit of the middle function should also be 0 based on the squeeze or sandwich theorem. So, from this, we can conclude from squeeze theorem, from squeeze theorem, we conclude limit of x2 sine of pi over x as x approaches 0 is 0. As you can see, limit of the function exists and it equals 0. But because f of 0 is undefined, from all of this, we conclude f has a removable discontinuity. Probably you can guess the second part of this question. We want to redefine. So the second part of this question is this. Redefine f of 0 to make f continuous at 0. Here, clearly you can see that f of 0 is undefined, but we want to define it somehow to make it continuous. What is the value that we have to choose for f of 0 to make it continuous? The limit of the function is 0. So, the proper value for f of 0 to make it continuous is of course 0 because the function is continuous when the limit and the value are equal. The limit is 0, so the value should also be 0. So, what is the answer of this part of the question? How we can define f of 0 to make f continuous? If we choose f of 0 equal to 0, then f is continuous at 0. I hope you like this video. If you like this video, please subscribe in my channels. And see you in the next videos.